I remember one year ago I was ready to try going to the gym. I said to myself I'm going to do it tomorrow first thing 7 in the morning for the third time that week. The alarm goes off and I press snooze. After a couple of hours I wake up and the first thing I do is automatically open Instagram and that led to relapsing because of the temptations coming from that app. After that I was so demotivated. I promised myself for several months I was going to do this shit because I was sick and tired of my skinny fat body. Every time my friends would suggest swimming I would have to make up an excuse to not join them. I was tired of being uncomfortable in my own skin or thinking that I, they didn't like me because of my body. I found a clip from Jocko Willink where he talked about waking up early and then I realized something. I'm not going to be willing to do shit if I start my day this way. You don't wake up early just to wake up early, you do it because that's the hardest part. When you get your ass out of your bed 6am in the morning, you have already done the hardest part. Everything else becomes easier. I was doing it the other way around all this time. After I implemented actually doing the hard things first, everything else became much easier and I stopped procrastinating. The plan I made that actually worked was waking up at a realistic time which was 6am for me. The rule was to not press the snooze button and rush to the bathroom to wash my face with cold water. Next thing was making a protein shake and then I hit the gym and after that a cold shower. I invested in the pain that would reset my dopamine levels. When that is done I eat 3 eggs for the vitamin D. I also do meditation after eating. I actually didn't mind sitting there just breathing for 10 minutes. I enjoyed taking care of myself and following a looks maxing guide because they suddenly didn't become so hard when I did things in the right order. But we're all human and I sometimes would miss my routine when I didn't feel like it and I would build up the little energy I had left to go train at the last minute before midnight and this was out of panic. After two weeks of these ups and downs I just looked at the mirror and thought to myself why am I doing this just to get approval from others? Why can't I do this for my future self and for my own health? When I began prioritizing myself before others, I started to progress again. I started ignoring my ego and learned to appreciate small progression. I also changed up the exercises to do it more fun for myself. For example, not always following the same training plan like push-pull legs, but also experimenting other plans. If I don't feel like going at all, I do it anyway because I know if I do it while I feel down, then it would be carved in stone that I do it no matter what I feel like, which was a huge thing for me. Every now and then I just wash the bench press plates and we get proud that I started with only the bar at first and now there are plates on it. If you want to achieve this as well, here's a complete looks maxing guide. 